How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Update 9 released yesterday for everybody. Now there are actually a few things in Update 9, features and fixes that weren't told to us a few days ago and we're going to cover all of those extra things today. We also have the Hot Wheels map has been found within the files along with a new Hot Wheels trailer which we're going to show as well. If you do enjoy videos like this guys and you find it useful please do consider subscribing it helps out massively you and you won't miss any more videos like this. Let's get into it. So as I said the Hot Wheels map has been found within the game files of Horizon 5 and I'm going to pop it on screen right now. This is apparently what the Hot Wheels map is going to look like from sort of above you know the map view it's quite a detailed image it's, i think it's an 8k image so it's incredibly detailed but we can see that it's obviously split into three biomes connected with some kind of bridges or connectors and then bang in the middle we have horizon nexus which was the predicted new feature turns out it was just the name for the sort of the hub in the middle of hot wheels now what is obvious is this Hot Wheels map doesn't contain all of the tracks and stuff like that. This is just the raw map itself where we're going to be able to place the tracks and drive on them. We can see quite clearly how it's split into the three biomes, the volcano we one, the snowy one, the foresty one and the sort of the canyon area. And there are a few cool things to note out. There are lots of sort of canyon bridges going along everywhere. Are we going to be able to drive on them just on the map itself rather than the Hot Wheels tracks? I'm sure we'll see. We seem to have some kind of green dragon dinosaur thing scattered around the map. We've got one there, one there, and I believe there's one in the forest area somewhere as well. This is going to be really cool. Now the question is, are we going to get access to this map seen on screen where there's no Hot Wheels tracks and where we can build our own? Now we know we're going to be able to build our own Hot Wheels tracks. But I'm not sure if it's known if we're going to get to build it on the clear, empty map. That would be really cool. I think we're going to be able to, to be honest. I think it's been said. Now, there is a new Hot Wheels trailer as well. If you go to Forza Horizon 5 and download Update 9, as I said, it's just released. If you go to your map and go to the bottom left-hand corner, you will see the Hot Wheels icon that says coming soon because Hot Wheels isn't out yet. It's coming towards the end of this series in a couple of weeks. But there's a trailer now if you click on it it doesn't actually show the trailer so i don't know what's going on there but we have got access to the trailer and i'm going to show you it on screen right now this is the new hot wheels trailer There's a few new things to spot in there, a few still shots and a few screenshots we can take from that and deep dive into. It just gives us another insight to the Hot Wheels area. Now a screenshot I want to show you right here is this one. This is from the trailer and as we can see it shows the Horizon Nexus, looks quite cool. But if you look below you can actually see the Mexico map. As you know the Hot Wheels map is actually in the skies above Mexico but I didn't realise we'd actually be able to see it when we look down. That is pretty cool. They've really gone to town with making this Hot Wheels thing different. I, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Now, as I said, there were more things added within Update 9 that weren't shown on the live stream, such as little fixes and features and stuff like that. We're going to cover them things now. We've got a bit of a graphic on screen now, which displays the new features and major game fixes out of the update. Now, there is actually even more stuff they added that's not even on this list. We'll cover that in a minute. But some of the main things to take from this list are obviously all of the new stuff they added, which we mentioned in the live stream along with convertible functionality the Ferrari California T and the McLaren 650S Spider, and we can see in the general game fixes they've gone over stuff like the accolades event lab issues they fixed the hood and bumper camera views being too dark I've experienced that myself one of the features that people were very excited for is the duplicate car filter which we now have access to I'll show a bit of on-screen gameplay of that working out now there's sort of a new filter you go to it there's duplicates and it shows you all of the duplicate cars now it's worth noting that this doesn't show you 
just the duplicate it shows you both of the cars the, the the first one you have and the duplicate so if you see two cars on here you only have two of them you don't have two extra does that make sense so that's a cool feature that they finally added as i said they added more stuff that wasn't mentioned that we can actually find in the full change log and we're going to go through the full change log now the general fixes are most of the ones that they mentioned um, we've already covered all this. The one at the bottom, all players will now see their creative hub rank increased as intended. On screen right now you can see creative hub ranks now work. I'm ranked 20 on some things and some I'm not. Event Lab. Now this is where some of the new features are which are actually been overlooked and are actually quite cool. They've added car horns from series 6 to series 7 to Event Lab sort of rules. They've added an orbit camera option added steps rotation and added new camera speed options now these were overlooked this is massive for event lab players again i'm going to scroll on screen right now if you go to event lab there are now two cameras the sort of the free roam camera and the orbit cam i think you toggle it by using the analog stick and the orbit camera is basically you set an area or a prop and then you can orbit it with your camera sort of zoom in and zoom out and the camera will orbit that specific prop or area as you can see on screen I'm sort of orbiting the area that I select and if you have a prop it does it to that as well now the stepped rotation is also really cool if you click the more options sort of button it will come up with a box and you can set stepped rotation on or off and also the degree to the rotation as well so if you want a prop to rotate sort of 90 degrees straight away um, you can snap it 90 degrees or if you want it 45 degrees you can do that as well i'm sure if you're a rent lab creator you'll know what all this means but step to rotation is a huge one online has some fixed issues as well we can see them all summarized here just if you come across the issues on screen you know they're now fixed cars have had some things fixed such as duplicate car filter we know that the free roam convertibles have been changed they've updated the volvo's logo fixed the idle rpm on the 93 nissan 240sx removed a splitter from something and fixed a few other miscellaneous issues with a few cars especially the new audis added in series 8 exploits there's they've fixed a gifted cars exploit and a photo mode exploit not much more to say there festival playlist we already know they've fixed daily challenges progress and that is the full change log this is why it's always worth going through the change log every month because there's quite often things in there that aren't really mentioned those event lab things are amazing i don't know why they didn't mention that as far as i know anyway that is pretty much it for new stuff hot wheels is just around the corner we've got around three weeks to wait somewhere around there three four weeks stay tuned for my next video which will be about series 10 which is the next update which releases a couple of days after the hot wheels expansion so there might be some related things there we're going to cover that next video leave a like if you've enjoyed everyone subscribe if you haven't already for more content just like this and I'll see you all later.